Hello, my name is Nillers, Community Manager for Armor Reforger, and in this video I'll be explaining the dynamics of the multiplayer game mode, Conflict. In Conflict, players engage in a fierce player versus player scenario, battling for control of strategic locations across the islands of Arland and Eberron. Securing victory will require players to extend their radio communications, secure logistics, and dominate the enemy using a selection of period authentic weapons and vehicles. First, players will choose one of the two playable factions, United States or Soviet Union forces. Which side you choose will ultimately dictate the equipment and vehicles that you'll be supplied with during the battle, and this cannot be changed once the match has begun. Each force has their own distinct uniforms, weapons, vehicles, structures, and more. Head to the command post to secure an arsenal and vehicles. Each side starts with a set amount of supplies for constructing utilities and fortifications, with more slowly generated over time. From here, you may enter the building mode and place down an ammunition supply point and maintenance point for weapons and vehicles respectively. Players will need to build these stations with the provided entrenching tool to utilize them. At the supply point, you'll have access to various weapons, ammunition, medical supplies, gear and equipment inside the arsenal. On the left will be the arsenal's available assets, and on the right your character's inventory. You'll notice that at the bottom of each arsenal item is an associated supply cost to acquiring it. This cost will be deducted from the base's total supply stockpile displayed at the top of the menu. Use resources wisely and coordinate with your team to take only the necessary equipment. Once you've gotten your loadout, be sure to save your configuration for the off chance that you are incapacitated and have to respawn. Once you're ready to head out, take one of the starting vehicles provided or head over to the vehicle maintenance point. You may have to construct one. Here you'll have a choice of vehicles based on available supplies and your character's rank. For now, hop in an available vehicle or head out on foot. Success in conflict hinges on capturing a number of military sites scattered across the island. To win, one side must capture a certain number of strategic positions and hold them for a given amount of time. These locations are initially indicated in pink, but will change in color based on faction control. It is important to note that bases can only be secured within your faction's radio signal range. This is denoted by the green marker displayed on your map. Otherwise, they cannot be appropriately captured. Your signal range may be increased by building radio relay stations or securing bases connected to those locations. The more military sites and communication arrays you seize, the greater your operational reach. The names of major strategic bases will change in each match. This unpredictability keeps the enemy on their toes, preventing them from immediately identifying your team's locations or plans, who may be listening in on your communications. Starting HQ locations are also dynamically placed at the beginning of the match. Capturing a base may be a bit more tricky than you think. At all locations, you'll likely come across enemy factions defending their points that must be cleared before seizing the location. For example, Independent FIA forces will lightly defend all points at the beginning of the match. Once you've cleared the area, move to the base's command post and secure the base that's within your radio signal range. In this war, supplies are as vital as firepower. Utilizing supplies found at bases, FIA depots, and around the battlefield, players may gather and deliver aid to build utilities, fortifications, and even defenses across the island. These supplies can be visually loaded into all ground and air vehicles. Construction can occur at base command posts or with the help of construction vehicles anywhere on the map. This creates a dynamic and evolving environment. Be sure to establish secure supply lines to ensure your faction's survival. Remember though, resources are limited, so teamwork and coordination are essential to create a powerful, defensible location and base of operations. In the chaos of battle, individual progress is also crucial. When capturing objectives or delivering logistics and troops, you'll likely notice a green progress bar. This indicates your character's current rank progress. 
From armored vehicles to helipads, ranking up unlocks new structures and vehicles for you that can turn the tide of battle. But remember, your enemies are doing the same. And there you have it soldiers. We hope that this broad overview of the conflict game mode can help give you a better understanding of the mechanics and help lead your team to victory. In the future, we'll be sure to explore more features and game modes in detail. Until then, my name is Nillers and I'll see you on the battlefield.